Okay, let's take a look inside. I think the batteries are down here for the, well, actually I think it's storage now. Oh, it's pretty hard to, oh yeah, it's just storage compartment now. It used to be the batteries, but then they relocated the batteries outside. So, as you enter, you got a lighted handle here, some of the main controls. The floors are laminate, but they're individual tiles. We've kind of got everything opened up for us. So let's just start up here, look around. I've got the solar controller there. There's the Magnum inverter. You've got auto gen start feature on there too, so that's cool. Over here, just the Wi-Fi thingy, the Wi-Fi Ranger, LG Smart TV that stays in position when the bed comes down. The seats are in good condition. So one cool thing is that you've got all of the original manuals intact in the folder that came in from Tiffin. That's great to have. You have the, the order sheets and so all the options that came with it, which is pretty easy to tell by looking at through it as we walk through. But um, just taking a look here. Registration, I have to take that out of there because that belonged to the previous owner. But you've got the, um, this is the SD, um, the USB plug-in card. You flip that around and then that can be plugged into a computer with all the data for the coach, including the build sheet, everything. And then you have the, even the 2020 uh, open road disc has all the, everything basically for your computer. So everything's here, which is great because oftentimes that's missing. So storage is down below here too got this one I open up all the compartments so we can see if any of them have damage inside because that's sometimes not something you see then you open up a compartment or something like a, a drawer and it's got sticky gunk all over it something was spilled and not cleaned up properly but uh, I want to see for myself if there's anything to report and just find everything I can find so if it does need to be fixed it can go on a work order your main storage is up here for kitchen and I've already went through it there's really nothing to worry about as far as this stuff goes you've got your um, touch-up paint still here place for your silverware pots and pans a few more drawers they went to this new style Furion 3 burner that kind of just looks more modern. They went to that, it might have been 2020 when they went to it. They also added this beautiful window in 2019, I believe. But in 2020, they fixed all the issues with it. In 19, it was had a motor, this thing had a motor and it was something that would come apart or I have you know, issues every now and then. So they, they at the time, they basically found that it was just a pain because they'd have to take this whole thing apart to get to the motor and it was a lot of labor and time so it could be a costly expense down the road if it's out of warranty and so they figured out gosh we don't need to make that thing motorized just just do a regular you know spring operated and it just seems to be a better fit for this area and adding this window was just i don't know it took them so long it adds so much more light to the coach Got your convection microwave, a little pantry there. These are the covers for this. I took them off so I wouldn't have to do it one-handed. Sink. Double-sided double stainless steel recessed sink. Your L-shaped sofa. This is a really cool design. This is a cushion that fits right over the top of a piece here so it doesn't move around it's it's um, in its place which is good you've got Tiffin's coffee table another item that's often missing or people decide to keep it 
but I found that under the bed. And I'll get these guys going here too. I like the new sconces they came out with as well. They kind of add a little bit of ambient light. Tiffins are, they're not dual pane like in your Monaco, but they are double thick. So basically the same insulation level, but they don't have any fogging issues ever because there's actually no place for fogging to go. Tiffin produces all of their own fiberglass. They make their own window frames. So these are really well designed and made windows. Let's head over to, so the fireplace is on. It has three or four different color settings, a couple different heat settings. Right now it's on no heat because I don't want to get any heat in here. It's already, it's not a warm day, but it's, it's perfect. So LG Smart TV. They've been having trouble now getting this size of LG Smart TV. They're typically, they're matching all their TVs, but in 2022, we're seeing another brand here. It's, I can't remember, it's like Connect or Cox. It's a name I've never seen. So it's like maybe a Chinese TV. And it's not like Tiffin to do that, but I think they're having trouble getting the right size television for this space from LG. There's a remote control, also works with your with your, with your uh, fireplace. All the rest of your remotes are up there. Your dish network remote, TV remotes. There's your central vacuum connection there. Let's take a look in the fridge. This is a good time to point out, there aren't any odd smells, smells of pets, or anything that you shouldn't be smelling. It just smells completely normal. Ice maker. There's a little bit of sticky like paper got left behind from something we'll be cleaning that off obviously and cleaning the rest of the fridge but generally it's it looks good it doesn't have any odors either and no pet smells it just smells normal all right starting to finish this room let's go on to the next bathroom one piece fiberglass shower i don't know if this was here or not or if they added that i can't remember but We've got a slider up here that has a little light in it. So you have some light if you want that closed. But good design on the shower, good size. Bathroom is tucked in right here. Actually not a bad size sink for motorhomes. A lot of these, these days are just this little plastic thing. About a third smaller than that or half the size of that. And it's pretty annoying. But uh, porcelain toilet. A little bit of storage up there. Got your fantastic or attic fan up on top. More storage. A couple pieces of paper, but this is actually clean. There's no spills that I can see. And say hello. So these are slider doors, so you have that privacy. We've got storage under the bed. That's where I found the table. There's the um, hoses for the central vacuum and the ladder to get above to the overhead bunk. So I've got a couple drawers here. Kind of nice. And a really good amount of storage above the bed. It's divided by two. This is a Tempur-Pedic style mattress. You've got a little storage next to the bed on either side as well as two USB for your devices. Opening windows, day and night shades on it. All the windows in the living room and bedroom. And then of course these also open up for pass through air. Same over here, tiny bit of storage and plugins. This rear kind of coat closet thingy here. This needs to get put back up there. I'll leave it here for the professionals. And you do have one adjustable shelf. They it seems like they lowered it all the way, but you can have a little shelf that goes across here. Primary closet. And everything is nice and clean. This is your breakers and fuses 
It's on a nice little lever arm there. You've got one, two, three of these drawers. And then Tiffin's known for this hamper, clothing hamper, so you have a place to put your dirty clothes. And then behind the other television, you have your Wally box, which you're going to use Dish Network, it's all ready for you. Your overhead satellite, I believe, can still be switched to DirecTV if that's what you are using or if you um, decide to get it. So you've got your satellite switch up here. And this also has, that closes up so you have your TV. You still have the ceiling fan. That's pretty much it for the coach. Anything else you have questions about, don't hesitate to ask. I'm gonna get this uploaded and over to you.